Hi you guys, it's Priscilla, the owner of Paws at Maine. Today I'm going to be grooming a doodle doing an Asian fusion look on her. That consists of a shorter body, longer legs. We're going to take down some of this poof on the top. We're going to shorten it up, give her a cute teddy bear face. Um, I think I'm going to leave her ears longer. Just trim them up a bit. So before I start grooming or cutting any type of hair, I like to do my prep work. Um, that consists of doing the nails, trimming the paw pads, trimming her sanitary areas, and brushing her out completely. Um, Ginger Mae does have some matting on her legs where it's longer, so that's gonna take some time um, with brushing and dematting all that out. Okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to spray some dematting spray. It's gonna help break up some of that, those matting. So I like to brush the top layer first and then go in with my dematting rake after I've done that. Oh my goodness! Um, and I just wanna note that not every dog is a good candidate for brushing um, mats out. It depends on the dog. If we'll sit there and brush your dog's mats out. So we just finished with all of the brushing and dematting. I'm gonna go in now and shave her paw pads. Okay, it's a beautiful clean butt. All right, now I'm gonna clean underneath. I'm gonna lift her leg up. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna do her nails. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna trim the tips right now before I go in and dremel them. The dremeling is gonna help smooth the top of the nails so they're not so sharp. So I'm gonna lift the hair all the way back so I don't catch her hair with the dremel. Round out the nail so it's nice and smooth. No sharp edges. All right, so I'm gonna go in and clean her ears. I like to get all these little steps done so that I don't forget them. Depending on some dogs, they actually really like this. It's very soothing for them. Oh, look at that. So gross. All right, so we're gonna go in and I'm gonna start trimming her hair. Today she's gonna get an oak comb. Um, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to trim the top down. Remember, we're leaving her legs longer, but I am gonna go in and I'm gonna trim up to here and blend all that in. All right. So You see how that glides just like butter? That's your prep work brushing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yes, after all that brushing. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start blending in her legs. So it looks all put together. So I like to go straight down and I'm just skimming. I'm not digging in. Skimming will achieve that look that I'm trying to get. So it looks all blended and put together. All right, so I'm gonna have Eddie come and help me. Just hold Ginger May for me because she's having some anxiety. She can't stay still. If you guys didn't know, Eddie's my husband. <laughs> she definitely wants to throw that out there. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my uh, chunkers and I'm just gonna blend this hair right here. I feel like it's a perfect example to see that, you know, grooming dogs isn't easy. Exactly. So not all dogs like grooming. As you can tell, Ginger Mate, she likes to whine. Um, not every dog enjoys grooming, but you know, they need it. Um, but that's why it's good to get them on a regular schedule and get them used to the grooming process. Um, like I said, some dogs will never get used to it and that's why it's important to pick a haircut that is best for them um, so we're not torturing them. <laughs> okay, so before I go in and round the paws out, I'm just gonna explain a little bit how I achieved this look. Okay, so on the body, I went shorter, um, used to zero. And then for the legs, I went and blended in with a longer attachment comb and just blended everything in. I didn't dig in, I skimmed. So as you see, this is shorter than this, right? But I don't wanna take down her legs like that. So I'm only just gonna skim a little bit and I'm just going to gently glide. little bit of hair came off and it's still very long it's not as short as her body that's what skimming is and that's what I did on this leg to achieve this look so as you can see grooming isn't easy um, it's not always perfect the dogs love to move around all the time so if you wonder if you ever wonder why your dogs are here for so long well it's because it's sometimes it's a it's a little struggle to get them to participate. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna go in and round her feet. Not every dog is gonna be able to get this type of haircut. Um, it all depends on your lifestyle, um, the dog's lifestyle and their dog's temperament and the coat. A lot of factors go into the type of haircut that you want or that we can achieve. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start working on her face. We're gonna do a cute little teddy bear face. And here is the difference between the two. All right, so that's the difference between the two legs. And I'm gonna do that after, finish her other leg after I'm done with her face, but I just want you guys to see the difference. All right, so I'm gonna start doing her face. Um, her mom wants to take some of this fluff down. It's getting to be too much for her to maintenance at home. And even here, she had some knotting, matting in her hair. So we're gonna start with taking some of this down. <laughs> so, Usually on a doodle, we like to leave them shaggy or owners like to more shaggy. Um, but her mom took a chance today and wants a teddy bear look. Okay, so I rounded out her face, gave her the shape that I was looking for. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down and then when I'm done doing that, then I'm gonna go back in and blend everything in together. So it looks really cute, but here is the shape. There's multiple ways that you can do a head. You can go in with your comb attachment. You can go in with your, your straights, your curves, um, your chunkers whatever you're good at. I like to go in with my chunkers and take everything down. I'm more of a sheer type of gel. So when you're doing a teddy bear head, or just doing the head in general, um, you're gonna be blending, blending, blending away. Honestly, it's, sometimes it's very soothing be honest. So there's different ways that you can achieve this look. Um, every groomer is going to do it differently because, you know, we're artists and we have our own way of doing things. But what I like to do is I like to do the bottom part of the face first and, you know, create my outline. Um, best way I can describe it is I like to make a crescent, like a half moon trim it and then go in with my blenders and blend everything in to 
to the side of the face, top of the head right here. And I'm just gonna go back in and blend. All right, so I just finished her ears. She is all done. This is <laughs> this is the teddy bear face. Um, like I said, I left her ears natural. She looks really cute. All right, so this is the final look. This is an Asian fusion look, teddy bear look. Um, yeah, so we, again, I trimmed everything short on the body longer legs, column legs, Asian fusion legs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I like just to call them longer legs. Um, and then we did her Asian fusion teddy bear face. She looks really cute. Remember, this is a whole different look. She's always gotten the very shaggy doodle face. And now we have a cute Asian fusion teddy bear look. And this is the final look.